welcome back to my channel it's your girl boyna again okay <clears throat> hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are just joining me for the first time you are most welcome my channel guys you know it's all about being informed inspired and motivated simply by boino my name is boino and this is my channel you are most welcome today guys let me go straight into the topic i'm gonna talk about liberia and liberia is 175 years old liberia at 175 years old a challenging crisis country and we are going to delve into a little bit of liberia from where it came from up to the present up to 175 years old so if you are just joining me for the first time you are most welcome please subscribe hit that bell of notification that way guys you'll be notified whenever i upload new video okay so if you haven't hit that button of notification hit it so that whenever i upload a new video you can be the first to see it and you can watch it at your convenience of any time that way you're gonna know that i've uploaded a video so welcome welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you new viewers thank you new subscribers and let's get straight into our topic okay liberia is a country it has lots and lots of opportunities and it also is a wartime country or country that is from crisis yet we are from crisis, Liberia has war, and you know Liberia was founded by the American Colonization Society, and Liberia is on the west coast of Africa. It's surrounded by Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Africa, along with the south by the Atlantic Ocean. Liberia is a very beautiful country. Liberia got her independence on July 26th, and they had just celebrated their independence. And it made liberia 175 years old and so at this age at this stage you will say yes liberia is an old country a country that should be well developed a country with good roads good infrastructure a country with good economy a country with good leaders but no guys it's not like that we are still traveling because liberia is a challenging country and we are just from war too yes we know we have leaders we have people that are in power we have had elections still liberia is still a struggling country because the war took a lot from liberia the war turned liberia liberia had a civil war which we fought each other and this war it lasted for so many years and it has destroyed liberia it has destroyed the economy it has destroyed infrastructure it has destroyed the growth of liberia so i don't care if a president get into power all that is being done in Liberia up to present at this age of 175 is rebuilding. They are still rebuilding Liberia. Liberia is not at the stage or is not where a country with a 175 years should be. There are countries that are below Liberia age yet they are far more developed than liberia so the, the the war took lots and lots of things from liberia and sometimes the the, the presidencies the leadership also bring down the country that is the country do not move forward with the kind of leaders that is in power there was a time Liberia was growing, Liberia was struggling, Liberia was moving forward. Some other countries used to come to copy from Liberia. But this time we look up to that country to copy from them. We also look up to, that, to those countries to borrow from them because we are a struggling nation. But yet and still, we are still independent. And with all of these setbacks, in liberia corruption is number one that is holding liberia back liberia is one of the most country that is on the list for corruption 
because everybody that gets into leadership they are just there to please themselves they are not there to see the growth of the country they are not there for the development of the country so the country keeps going backward down and down you will see people will say oh i want to develop the country you vote for me you do this for me do that for that but when they get into power they turn to think about themselves they forget about the country so corruption and people work in offices they do not get paid all of these things it break down the country and when we talk about corruption there are money that belongs to the country things that belong to the country that are stored in by these leaders if those things were put into the country if those money or those benefits things that belong to the country if it were put into the country the country would have been developed even though we went through war but because people only think about themselves put everything into their pockets the country is not developed the country is still struggling the country with all the age is still backward majority majority of the people in liberia are languishing in poverty liberia at the age of 175 years old there is poverty rate there is illiteracy rate there was a time in liberia that people were not even thinking about going abroad to study in the 70s in the 60s as the only time they do that when they don't have space in the university there were lecturers that used to come from other countries to come and teach into the university so during that time people never used to go abroad for studies but because of the war the war came and destroyed everything and i said to you guys if it wasn't for the war liberia would have been more than what it is today liberia would have been up to the standard of its age today because the war came corruption everything people people have mind have changed people have become more corrupt people have become more brave people have lost their integrity people have lost their sense of humanity so they just do things because they do those things and they go with in, um, impunity so they have no no regards and they have no fear for whatsoever the dust with government money and money that are used for the country and to develop the country so at this age in liberia liberia is still struggling so don't mind the age when we say liberia is 175 years old you think that yes or if i go liberia i'm gonna see train all around i'm gonna see buses running here and there i'm gonna see good road good cars no you won't see anything like that because of corruption liberia majority are languishing in poverty the roads are not built schools teachers are not paid pay and students do not even go to school teachers don't even want to teach and people are struggling when it comes to medical facility oh we don't have it there the officials the government leaders the the, the leaders that are supposed to make sure that medical facilities are well in tight our medicals our doctors our medical equipment are well put together well up to date is not there because they flew to other country to go and seek medical treatment and so there was a time that people used to travel by night but this time people don't travel by night because of what because of criminal because of they call it hame people had jack or kept nap or thief lots and lot of things is going on in the country darkness is the is the worst time for you to travel when it's dark but back then it was safe but now it's not safe liberia at this age it keep going down as the age keep increasing the the life they who the progress of liberia is not even a progress but it keep declining that there is no hope people are losing hope some people that are in the diaspora they don't want to go back in liberia when some even try to go back to visit their land what they meet up where they cannot stay it they will have to come back and say they can't live there anymore but i tell you guys 
in the midst of all of this, Liberia is trying to grow. And the growth is challenging in the midst of crisis, in the midst of every opportunity that Liberia is getting, there is still a challenge. Because a challenge is with those that progress, we want to come through or pass through that are in leadership, some of them will stay on it, they will step on it because they lose their integrity, they lose their humanity. They, 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 they don't want, they will say they want for the country to develop, but when it comes to the to, to putting things that belong to the country, they take it and put it in their pocket for themselves. So it's not easy. Liberia is struggling at this age. Liberia has a leader that I would say is trying, yeah, but yet and still, we need a good leadership. We need a good leaders. We need people that have the fear of God. People that have humanity at heart. People that have their country at heart. For notwithstanding, people are still living there. Liberia is still a country. Schools are still going on. In the midst of all these chaos, in the midst of all these crises, in the midst of all these challenges, Liberia still stand. And Liberia will still rise. Because Liberia will be the Liberia that it used to be yesterday or even better. Because unity we stand divided we fall. So Liberia at 175 is growing out of crazy. It's developing out of corruption. Is progressing because some there are more good people than bad people, and so those good people they are trying in their they are trying their utmost best to make Liberia better, to make Liberia a country again. And so it is our country. We have to support our country. We have to develop our country. We can say, oh, this is happening. This is happening. We can just leave everything on the government. So Liberia at 175 years old is still in crisis. Is still struggling. Is still fighting corruption. Is still fighting um, bad leaderships. Is still fighting poverty. Is still fighting illiteracy. And is still at the stage that is growing no matter the increase of the age liberia is still a struggling nation so guys i bring you liberia at 175 liberia is a country and a beautiful nation with lots and lots of minerals but yet and still we are not developed but we are working on it and we are moving towards that stage so my beautiful people, <laughs> I hope I make sense today as I bring you little information on Liberia at this challenging stage of the age of 175. So guys, I want to say thank you for viewing my channel. If you have anything to say, you are free to leave me your comment in the comment section as I talk about Liberia at the age of 175. So. This is all I have for you today. Thank you for viewing. I'll see you on my next video, guys. I love you. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.